for Christ were preaching on street corners throughout the city late last month when one of those protests took an ugly turn. News team Selena Westervelt shows us what happened. You need to get your family right before you call yourself a pastor. You can't take care of your home. You dead sure can't take care of the church. You're wicked and on the road to hell. This is video of Roswell's Watchmen for Christ, led by brothers Jeremy and Joshua De Los Santos. It was shot by one of the Watchmen as the brothers preached outside Church on the Move, which is a non-denominational church. But things went downhill when one of the church's pastors asked the Watchmen to leave. Watchman Ronaldo Iglesias was arrested on assault charges because of this scuffle. Jeremy De Los Santos was also charged for disorderly conduct. It's a charge he's already been convicted of for a protest last summer outside of a bar. A couple months later, after his conviction, they gathered on their property, which is right across from the police department. We ain't just going to preach to the whores and whoremongers. No, we're going to preach against crooked cops, too. Jeremy De Los Santos was arrested again for disorderly conduct. Disorderly conduct, as with most laws, uh, is based on the idea that uh, my freedom ends where yours begins. Um, so when anybody's conduct reaches the point that it disturbs others, um, that's when disorderly conduct comes into play. But you can see we're on the public sidewalk. Uh, none of our guys are out there arguing, no nothing going on. We're there to preach like we always do. He later filed a lawsuit against the police department. Those are all Bible words. And it is my freedom of religion to preach what my Bible says. In Roswell, Selena Westervelt, KRQE News 13. The watchmen say they do not plan to change their message or the way they preach. I'm